Hey guys, CJ Music here, and as seen from the title, I'm going to be talking about what worries me money-wise. Um, this all came about when I started TAFE. I haven't officially started TAFE yet. I start on the 30th of January. It's the 25th today on this recording day, so I still have five more days of stress and panic and excitement built up before I start. Um, my, I'm not going to lie or like not say any numbers when it comes to money because to be honest I don't really care if you guys know how much I earn and like how much stuff is so I'm just gonna tell you I'm doing um, unit 3 in beauty services at Box Hill TAFE um, and it's costing me I think around three and a half grand which is a lot and I can't pay that off in one lot so I am on a payment plan so I'm paying $338.80 a fortnight, which is a lot for me. Um, and other than that, I'm also paying CrossFit, which is $50 a fortnight, so $100 a month. And my phone bills once a month, which can range between $100 to $150, depending on how much my data, um, how much data I use, because if I go over, they give me an extra gig for 10 bucks. Telstra, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, and with Loki, his hay is about ten dollars, and that I'll get that once to twice a month. And his food is about ten dollars a fortnight. So it really all adds up when you think about it. It's not just paying off TAFE; it's paying off paying all of these other things. And during Christmas time, that was fine because I was working four to five days a week, which was a lot, but I got a lot of money from that. Um, but now that the Christmas rush has stopped, I work in a toy shop, so not many people want to buy toys when it's not really Christmas. Like, they will come in, but it's not as much. Um, so I'm not getting as many shifts. I've been cut down to two shifts a week. And when I start TAFE, I think I'm only, I'm only doing one shift a week next week, which stresses me out because that's all I'm earning for an income however I do get um, a thing called youth allowance which is you get from Centre Language from the government so the government gives me money because I'm not earning that much and I'm a full-time student basically um, I get about $290 from the government which um, helps pay for um, my phone bill and pays for most of my TAFE which is really good but if I'm not working as much as I was, I might not be able to pay for TAFE or anything because I'm still 18, I've still got things to do, I want to go out, I want to have fun, but if I don't have money to do that, I, I get stressed because I want to go out with my friends and I want to buy drinks and I want to have dinner and be all grown up, but I can't because I just don't have the money for it and that's what freaks me out is that I want to pay for TAFE or I still want to do CrossFit. I don't want to give up CrossFit. Like I was thinking about giving it up because it's a lot of money, but it's something for me, like that's the only thing I have for me at the moment and it gets me out. I'm, I've made so many good friends at CrossFit and it, I feel really healthy and strong. Like when I first started I couldn't do a military push up which is what, like hands on the ground and like toes on the ground instead of just knees which is like I can do. But I can, it's called a military push up. I can do a military push up, like I can do about three in a row now. and. When I first started, like six, seven months ago, I couldn't even do one. I'd get down, but I couldn't push myself back up, but now I can. And yesterday I realised I could, and it, I, it made me proud. But, and that's why I don't want to give it up. And also I have to pay for my phone bill myself. And I don't want to ask people for money because I, I, I hate it. I always end up asking my sister for money, but I hate it. I absolutely hate it. And I tried to go to Centrelink yesterday to get a healthcare card, so I get my prescription. I also had to pay for my medication, which is like seventeen dollars a month for my antidepressants and seventeen dollars for three months for my pill. Um, and for the healthcare card, you get things cheaper. You get your rego cheaper. You get so registration for your car. You get my medication would be cheaper and all these other things. It just helps. And I went in there with bank statements because I don't really know where to get pay slips from because I don't get them emailed to me. But apparently the, the my bank statements weren't good enough and I ended up breaking down because I 
I'm just so stressed about money and my mum was like oh do you want me to give you money to go towards your TAFE and I just was crying and I was saying no I don't want to take your money because my mum's not working at the moment she's she got out of hospital and she's not in her right mind to um, work like she's looking for a job but then she's better but I don't want to take her money like I'm 18 I should be able to provide for myself and that's what stresses me out is I should be able to provide for myself I should be able to do things just do things ah, it just gets me so so stressed and I think when TAFE starts I'll be okay it'll be worth it but I probably just won't do a lot of things on the weekends or anything I'll be um working and making youtube videos and knitting because in the winter hopefully i'll be able to sell scarves and beanies and stuff to help pay for things but as soon as tay finishes it's only six months so it starts at the 30th of january finishes at the 30th of june so or july january, february, march, april, May, june. it's june sorry um so it'll finish on the 30th of june and then i'll go back to working heaps and hopefully saving up money and getting a car and getting my license and everything's just so expensive. It's Tyler's birthday on Friday the 27th so his parents bought us all tickets so so me, Tyler, his brother and sister and his mum and dad were all going out we're gonna have dinner at Chinatown then we're gonna go to Flemington to see the circus it's gonna be amazing and then his parents bought us a hotel room so we're gonna um, go is on Collins Street in Melbourne so we're going to go out and hit some bars hit some clubs and then we're gonna go back to the hotel room and sleep off our hangover um but the thing is it's his birthday so I haven't gotten him in anything for his 18th because I don't have any money and I feel really bad and I feel really selfish because um, I bought myself a new outfit for his birthday because we're going out on the Friday and then on the Saturday it's his party and I feel so selfish because I spent $40 on an outfit and I have $50 to spend on drinks so I'm hopefully just going to buy him lots of drinks but I wanted to get him this amazing 18th birthday present but all of a sudden like Christmas I bought so much so many presents for people and then I don't know it's everything is just building up at once and I just don't know how to deal but, ooh, sorry, the house just moved. That was weird. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know. I just really want to get that off my chest. But I might, probably won't, vlog Friday and Saturday. I might just take random videos and then, like, compilate them. But yeah, so I thanks for listening, guys. I just really wanted to get that off my chest. I'm going to go and take this makeup off and just go and watch the duff, which I just got. So... Yeah. Um, so as always, peace out, rock on, love you guys, see you in the next video. Mwah. <sighs> oh my god, I hate puppies. Mind? Do you, do you, do you mind? Okay. Look at this little angel. Are you on your bed? Stay. $338.80. Stop it! It's three. Um, um, stop biting me! Honestly, I'll put you out of my room. Just sit. Just sit. God. Stop distracting me. You're distracting me. You wanna come sit with me with your record? It's fine. Just see it. Seriously, that's it. You're going out. Out.